All right, welcome everyone. Farmer Cup here. This is episode four of Valley View. So it's good to see you guys. Can't believe we're already on episode four. Um, off camera, I sold the rest of our olives and I repaid our loan. So we're sitting $113,000 with no loan. Um, right now, though, I know it's going to make Marty quite sad. We're going to wash and repair all of our equipment. Everything else under there? No, I think just that. And I don't think the trailer needs any repairs. We'll just double check real quick just to make sure. Oh, let's make me walk a little bit faster. Uh, but yeah, so today, I don't even know what we're going to get done today. Um, I think we want to... I'm pretty sure our harvester will harvest... If we go to garage here. Yeah, it'll harvest all sorts of different things. So I'm thinking about potentially... We own this field. Potentially we could take out... We don't need to take out a loan. We could buy that field. I'm thinking about doing that. I think we'll buy field five, which is right there. Plow the cotton under and put in... Maybe potentially some an, another crop tight essentially would be the the plan. Did I repair that? I can't remember what I did anymore. Yeah, I did. That's right. Okay, I'm losing my mind. But yeah, I think that would be a good call for us. So maybe we'll maybe we'll buy that. This isn't gonna work. I don't want to slam into our harvester. Uh, we'll get this stuff cleaned up because I think that we can start getting a little bit more crops because those should theoretically be. I mean, some is ready to harvest. They're harvested. I'm assuming they're gonna jump over into the growing state at some point, but we'll see. Um, that's ready to harvest. We're not going to worry about it. Let's go ahead and buy that. Yeah, and then... Okay, yeah, it's still ready to harvest. I didn't remember if I had field flipping turned off or not, um, or the mod to turn that off. Um, we also need to get... Actually, uh, I'd like to get something to transport... Well, let's get a little bit of a loan here. I'm not saying we're going to use all this, but we'll just put a little bit in the bank. It's okay if we have a little bit of a loan out. Uh, oh, you know what we should do? We should get a 3500 I haven't used one yet, and then we should also get, they should have some backs for them. I should just go to brands, 82, oh, TLX looks great too, 82 attachments. These all work for the 3500, I believe. Those are for that. Okay, 82 attachments. I'm assuming they're going to have a, they got a dump bed, which holds 82,000 liters. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, do they not have a fuel bed? 21, that's that's a much more realistic, that's a, that's a big bed. There's no way that's for the, that's for the dumper. Um, that's for the actual, that's <laughs> 82, I guess you can do 8,200, you can do extended for 10. So 8,200 is pretty, that's, that's pretty reasonable there. 82,000 is ridiculous, but I love it. Um, so there's not, oh, these hold fuel. These hold fuel? Oh, I bet you you can, uh -huh. service rack, there's the fuel. You can have the service rack on there. I like that copperhead, silver bullet, metal eyes, black bell. Let's do that one. No, maybe we do the silver bullet. I like that a little bit brighter. Um, let's do twins because we're not going to have too wide of tires. I'm sure probably lighting. We do all of it. LED lights. Emergency light bar. Let's do the emergency light bar on that. We'll do that. And then is there anything else? Side rails. Sure, we'll put the side rails on there. Um, yeah, let's get that. That'll be... Yeah. We can do a different color, too, if we want. I'm not sure what color I... Jungle Fever. Don't like that one. But uh, there's all sorts of cool colors in here. Stainless. It would be kind of cool, but not great for a truck. I don't think it would look as great. Chrome. No. Aluminum? Maybe. Phoenix blue. No. What else we got? Um, what, I kind of want it to match the truck a little bit. I kind of like that Jack Moose red. Jack Moose aged. Jack Moose new age. Well, let's do Jack Moose new age. It's something a little bit different. We'll do that. Um, so we'll buy that. That's 23 grand. That's ridiculous. Uh, that's okay. We're going to buy that because we want a nice truck. And I'm going to take out a loan so we can get us up to 50 there. And we should be able to afford... Um, and we're not even going to buy it. We don't even need the crew cab. We'll just get the single because we don't need anything crazy. Um, we don't need anything. We don't need anything like that, I don't think. Those just do look nice. The work ones look kind of nice. Sport, all terrains. Let's do the all terrains. I like those. Um, we'll do a standard wheel setup. Uh, maybe we'll do wide because we have those wides on there. Um, I don't know. And let's do for design color. What does that change? And just the bottom, which we can actually could do like a not a night blue. Um, there's always lots of colors in here. 
Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll just do it all Jack Moose new aged. There we go. Rim color. I actually kind of like the rim color that's on there now. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, we won't worry about anything else. We'll just do that. Very basic truck. Uh, we'll just buy that. So we'll buy that. Beautiful. Okay, so now we got a new truck, which I know, we, did we need to buy it? No, of course not. But I wanted to get fuel, because this guy's going to need a little bit of fuel. Not a lot, but this will help us haul fuel. So where's our fuel point? Oh, down there. Okay, so let's hop down to the shop. Look at this bad boy. It's going to look great with that bed on the back of it. I do like the TLX stuff. I really do. And honestly, I probably will get the dumper as well because it'll be easier to transport stuff around. This better hook up. Let's not hook up? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, why is this not hooking up? Is it because it's so high up? Like, why is that? Shouldn't that... Ugh. Garage, doesn't that hook up to the... Yeah. It looks flatbed, is it just that we're not high? I don't know why it's not hooking up. Everything about this should hook up. Do we have the wrong... Maybe we have to do the extended cab. Maybe we'll go do that. All right, well, let's try that. We'll see if that fixes it. Because I am very confused at this point why this isn't working. Um, we'll sell that. 20087. Um, since we literally just bought it, I don't feel bad about adding in. We're still going to take a little bit of a loss, but I don't feel bad about doing that. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and buy the crew cab. And maybe we do Swamp Masters. How much that? That does add a little bit to the price. Yeah, I don't, it just is so tall. Yeah, the, okay, we'll do that. That looks okay. Um, room color we'll leave alone. Let's do our new colors. Okay, beautiful. Let's try this. Uh, we don't have enough money. Gosh darn it. That means we got to go back in and reassess it. Uh, we'll borrow 10 grand more. Or re-fix it up the way we want. Not the single cab. Let's get the... Do that. Do that. Prospector. And we'll do that. All right, buy that. Okay, this one better work. I haven't played around with the TLX uh, 3500 at all, so I'm sure this is, I'm sure you guys are probably screaming at the screen, it's probably something obvious. Maybe this, if this hooks up right away, I'll know that that was, yep, you just needed this truck probably for some reason, or maybe I bought the wrong bed. I don't know what I did, but anyhow, this works. It does look a little odd, but that's okay. We'll take it. <laughs> Let's go get some fuel. Uh, I'm assuming, ooh, geez. I'm assuming I can unload the fuel from this into, oh boy, this thing does just go wherever you want it to though. I mean, DJ was doing some crazy stuff with it. This thing is ridiculous. See how I just climbed up that? Oh my heavens, this is fun. I like this truck. This is a good truck. Okay, anyhow, back to driving like normal persons. Um, let's head over this way. The fuel is down this way. All right, gotta get on the correct side of the road. We'll pass. People are probably terrified with my, me driving on the road. That's pretty normal though. All right, head out here. Should be able to grab some fuel. There we go. Okay. So I'm hoping this will work. Um, I'll take this up there, get that squared away. But what I'm going to do now off camera is I think um, I'll actually put a little time lapse in of it. What we're going to do is we are going to plow under and plant this field with, I think, um, Let's do coffee. You guys are probably wondering why I haven't done coffee yet. Let's do coffee. Why not coffee? Coffee looks great. Coffee sounds great. I'm drinking coffee. Coffee, everything about it is great. So um, I think we'll do coffee. I think is what we'll plant, which I think if we go into our garage, this will harvest coffee. We know that. Got coffee right there. But the question will be, I'm pretty sure this is going to plant coffee. I'm pretty sure this will plant it. Um, if it doesn't, I'll do like grapes, because obviously we can do grapes. So I'll do another crop, but we'll, you know, I'm going to try to plant it with this um, as well, which I know some of you guys like get a bigger planter. I know we could do that. We will eventually, but it doesn't matter for these ones because they should be good to go. But yeah, we'll plow it under with the 6M subsoiler deal here, and then I will do that. So I'll put a time lapse of that in. Uh, so yeah, you guys will see that next, and then I'll bring you guys back in after we're done with that.
So as you just saw, we just finished planting our coffee there, which actually what I think we're going to do, I think we're going to take out a loan. You guys are like, of course you are. <laughs> I don't think we're going to need that much money, but um, I want to get that other back for the TLX. Let's go to a use attachments. I want to get this one. Yeah. I think that'll work. Or is that the one that has to work? Uh, 3,500 tipper. What's the, no, yeah, that's the dumper. That's not the one we want. The one that, it has to be this one back here. Uh, the prospector. That, that hold anything? Interesting. Uh, anyhow, okay. So the dumper here, we're going to do this. We'll get, yeah, we'll get the extended. We won't get the anything else crazy. Um, we'll do, now we'll just do that. That'll be fine. Lighting standard. We'll do some beacons. That'll be fine. I don't need the cover on it. Actually. I kind of like the look at the cover. We'll do the cover. Okay, we're gonna buy that nineteen thousand five hundred. That should work. Oh, jeez, a little weird there. It should work with this guy. So if we go pick that up, that should fit in the back of this thing. And we should be able to pick up our seed and stuff at the store, and haul it back down here or up here to the to the farm, so that way we have it in our storage, which would be good. And then, yeah, so we got our coffee planted, as you guys saw and all that. So everything else has been done. We're not going to worry about fertilizing the coffee or any of that because we know we get quite a high yield. Uh, the next purchase I might make is probably going to be another harvester or two. I think we want to get some faster production going with that. Nice, that worked out good. Um, is that the fertilizer? Yeah, we should be able to afford another pallet of fertilizer and probably another one of seed as well. Buy another bulk one. And then seed wise, we'll go to our seed. Where's our seed pallets at? Uh, there we go. Uh, bulk, and we'll buy how much is that? 42. Yeah, we'll buy two of those. Okay, so that burned through quite a bit of our cash, but that's okay. So we get the fertilizer loaded up, get that loaded up. And then the next thing we'll do, hopefully, is get, uh, hopefully get some coffee harvest underway. That would be kind of nice to have that done. So. Oh, is that? that's actually fully fertilized, of course, so it's going to be fine. Um, that's not fully fertilized, which is perfect. We don't want it to be. But yeah, and I don't, and we haven't seen anything. Obviously, that's growing, but we haven't seen that. Let's go ahead and fast forward just into the next day with you guys in here just so we can see if it'll actually, or I'm assuming it's going to start growing again because it's their bushes. We have to replant it every time, I mean, that's fine, actually, with how much we make off it. It's not that big of a deal, but... Uh, that wouldn't really make a lot of sense. I know these things, these two seems to take twice as many growth states to um, get going. Only $500 a day in loan interest. That's not too bad, actually. They seem to take about twice as long to go through a growth state or to jump into the next growth state. So wait till that jumps. I think it's going to be this, that price set right there. We'll do that. Okay, yeah, so they're growing. Oh, wow, that jumped fast into the next that's almost ready again that's like to there so okay well at least we know it uh does good oh, look we got our cover on i kind of like the look of that cover it looks kind of nice this is a cool truck i like this truck yeah we'll get this up here to the farm i'll pick up the seeds in a second but now we know at least for sure that it does regrow we'll check on our coffee or coffee Ooh, don't hit a pole but you want to check on the coffee Ooh, look at these little guys now this one i don't know if actually i'm assuming these are I mean, like, just coffee bushes like normal, so they're going to be... I'm assuming after you harvest them, they'll stay, and you can... Yeah, I'm assuming that's what's going to happen, but we'll see. All right. Now, is it the next one that's the dump into? Yep, there it is. That's kind of cool. It'll dump with the cover on. There we go. And then we'll go pick up the seed and call it good. But, yeah, so I'll bring you guys back in when it's time to harvest. I think that's what we'll do is we'll get our coffee harvest underway. It'll be probably the thumbnail, my guess is. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you guys when it is time to harvest the coffee. All right, and we are back. The coffee is ready. I'm pumped. I get to harvest coffee, and our olives are ready as well. This is a much smaller field. should not take too long. I did buy a second harvester. <sighs> I know it probably wasn't the sm Well, I mean... To be fair, we'll use it, so I'm not too worried. Is this thing unfolded? Let's unfold it. Get here. 
Get this guy squared away, set up to go. I want to get a good thumbnail shot with these guys both harvesting, so we can do that. I can start you... I'll start you close by, not dead on. There we go. Hire you. And then hire you. Woo, baby. We are harvesting coffee. I love it. That is fantastic. Okay, let's do this. We'll do... You get a good thumbnail shot. He's not even quite on the rows. Yep, he's getting ready to turn around. Okay, that was good. Um, let's get back. Let's unhire you. Let's get you up ahead of this guy again. <laughs> I'll have to fix it all later. That'll be fine. Uh, there we go. Okay. Get a shot before they decide to do anything weird again. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, man. Okay. We'll turn all that back on. Oh, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. I love the way... Ah, oh, it just looks great. I'm so excited. This is great. Well, anyhow, I mean, that's the main thing. We wanted to get some coffee harvest, and so we're getting some coffee done. I'm actually super curious to see what it's going to look like in... Now, once this guy gets into this row, we'll unhire him. We'll put him down at the other end. Wanted that for the thumbnail shot. All right, we'll take him down here. I want to get one of these guys unloaded before we wrap up the episode, because I want to see what it looks like in a trailer. And the other thing I think we're going to do as well, um, so I'll talk about a couple things here. Get this guy started, and then we'll talk about a couple things. All right, there we go. Now, I did have to take out a little bit more of a loan, another $100,000. So we're at $200,000 in loan, which is a little bit much, but it'll be okay. Um, the other thing I want to invest in, I think, permanently is a devourer. So we have one on the farm. So I think we will buy one of those with part of our harvest income from both of our harvests, which we should easily be able to do. This guy's going to finish out. Is he, oh, yes, he's heading to the left. But, uh, yeah, so we'll see how they end up doing. That guy's at 3,000. This guy's at 4,000. This guy be the first one to fill up. But, yeah, so that's kind of the plan um, is what we'll do there. So, yeah, I think we should be able to afford that. Because I was the bar. I think it's 125,000. So we want to get, like, three, we want to get the first 200,000 we want to pay off our loan. So if we don't get it, we don't get it. But I would like to take away some of the, again, some of the trees around the edge of this field. Um, and in between, I think I don't think it, the workers really like the trees too much. I'd like to get rid of those as well. This guy we're going to unhire in a second as well and get him. We're going to try to do, maybe we'll do it a little bit by hand here. Um, but what I'll probably end up doing in between episodes is finishing the harvest up. Let's unhire you. Go. And we will... And down this way ourselves. I think there's still quite a bit of coffee to be gotten here. Yeah, we'll head down that way because, yeah, we still have that hole. And there's a little strip there as well. They don't do great at getting it, as you can see. And they would have done better if the trees weren't at the end, I'm sure. But they do what they can. The other helper's almost full here. But we'll go fix them up in a second. But, yeah, what I'll do is I'll do a lot of the harvest off camera. Since you guys have seen this before. But, yeah, our goal, again, is to harvest all those different crop types. So... Um, and it sounds like from reading the comments, you guys are saying plow this under, make it a field. So we'll keep our farm here um, for now. We'll keep it here. What we might end up doing is taking more of field nine and making the rest of the farm in this area here. Or actually, I might buy field 15 and build the farm there. I think that's a good spot for the farm. So I think we might end up doing that at some point. We'll keep our farm temporarily there and do all that good stuff. Um, the one thing I will say with the fertilizer, I put it in that one silo and it ended up um <laughs> it ended up transferring over to the other big silo that we had on the farm it was a little frustrating but anyhow okay that guy's good there let's get the other guy unloaded so we can take a look at what this coffee is going to look like now i have determined that with using this see, i like at least the green it looks a little bit different you can tell which is harvested and not it looks yeah i feel like maybe the like darker green should be the not harvested yet but i guess not because coffee's a darker i don't know anyhow what do i know about coffee but I found that backing up to these guys works out really well as far as getting them unloaded. That's what we will do. We'll back right up to this guy here. As I say that, now it's not going to work. There we go. What does the coffee look like? 
It's all at the back. Gotta hop out and take a look. Oh, fantastic. It looks like little coffee beans. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Well, anyhow, guys, that is what I got for you. I am very excited. So this is the first I've ever grown coffee on Farming Center 19 or olives, I think, for that matter. Or, no, I've done olives before. I've done olives. It's not coffee. So this is incredible. But anyhow, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.